are you guys? How are you ladies and gents? Uh, episode 45 of Life Strategies with Nat for the Entrepreneurial Woman. I am pumped because, well, it's just been such a fab day. I'm so buzzing because this morning I was at a Costa Women business breakfast and we were talking about, I was doing a talk about content, stra uh, content creation and then we had, hey Andrea, and then we had um, a really productive meeting with a pilot program, mentorship pilot program that I'm working on with Costa Women as well. And now we have a guest expert, Joe Soli. I actually got to share the stage with her uh, this International Women's Day, so March of this year. And uh, just while I'm getting her on here... Um, yeah, you're going to love this. I, sorry guys, because you know the finger comes out. <clears throat> um, <laughs> how are you guys doing? It's November. It's like mid-November. No, it's the beginning of November. What am I talking about? Um, but seriously, how are you guys? Are you guys stressed? Do you feel like you have lots going on? Because Joe is going to talk to us about Bizology and use numerology for your business success. Yes. So I'm just adding her on right now. Um, hey, Sakshi. Hey, Joe. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, I'm really excited for you guys to hear her speak about numerology. It's, um, especially since all the stuff that's been happening around the Mercury retrograde and all of this other goodness. So, Joe, it just says that uh, it's adding you still. So, just be patient, I guess. Um, let's see. Let's see. Should have like a little thing to like accept or something. <gasps> okay, one sec. So I'm going to add you again. <laughs> love, love the tech, right? Um, so I'm just adding her. So you should get something to say like, I want to add you to the broadcast or something. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I was listening to a song earlier. Joe, you says you've declined. Hang on. Let's try it again. I'm adding you one more time. Adding. I know you're here. I see you. Okay, I'm just going to add you now, and you should get like a little um, request to join. One thing. You've sent a request. Okay, one sec. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. I love these things. Do, do, do. I don't see your request. I'm just going to add you again. I'll receive an invite to join you. So you should have an invite to join me. It says you declined the live video invitation. Hmm. Um, hmm. I'm going to add you one more time. Add. Accept. There you are. Hi. Hi, darling. Hi, <laughs> I'm great. How are you? Yeah, good. Sorry, it wouldn't let me. Like, except. Ex <laughs> can you hear me? I can. Yeah, it's, I can. That's awesome. Of course. Yeah, I'm so excited great. you're and here. Yay! I was like, press accept, accept, and it kept saying. Explain why you don't want to join. I do want to join. Anyway, we're here. We're here. <laughs> we're here. And I was just asking everyone yeah. how they were feeling because it's, you know, November 12th. It's mid-November. And people yeah. tend to feel a bit, um, But for those of you, for those of us that don't know you yet, Joe, why don't yeah. you tell us a little bit about yourself? And then I want to get right into it because there's so much okay. greatness about to happen. Okay. 
Oh, hi, Thalia. So my name's Jo, Jo Soli. I'm a business coach, but I use the power of numerology to help you elevate your business success. I work with women who appreciate and understand that there's a force higher than us. Uh, numbers are innate, they're energetic, they're magic, they're fundamental of form. So we tap into that divine energy and we move you forward because of us so true so true so i i want i bet everyone's wondering like what is numerology yeah okay so should we start are you ready so you spoke about it's mid-month people are kind of like a little bit it was 11 11 yesterday it's a full moon today so let's go for it let's what do is it. numerology Numbers, numbers are magic, right? They are pure life. They are energy. They are cosmic. They are deep. They are inherent. Everything has a number associated with it. So two and two is four, but in numeric terms, four gives us structure and routine and control and systems. So we have, there's no mistake that there's seasons. There's no mistake that there's four directions. There's no mistake that there's four elements. There's no mistake that there's four fingers on my hand. There's no mistake that there's four uh, legs on this chair. There's no mistake that there is four gospels, four arch major archangels, four um, suits to a playing card, etc., 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 etc. Four gives us structure. I'm born on the fourth of the fourth. I'm like a little Rottweiler. I'm like a dog with a bone. You know, I'm very, very organized. Some would say a bit too organized, but it serves me. Okay. So four is all about structure. So that's story cell. That's the story with regards to four. So every other number has a story. And when we align to the story of our number, then we can stop. We can just be ourselves because everyone else is taken, as Oscar Wilde says. So we can just work on what we're here to do, which is our life path number, which we're going to talk about later. We can stop putting round pegs in square holes. We can concentrate on why we're here because there's no mistakes. If you've got a number, you've got it for a reason. And we can align to our numeric energies and our four roads. So numerology is... A science it's a study of numbers numbers are life they're in trend intrinsic they're intrinsically woven through the material of our day-to-day -day existence they're intrinsically woven through our lives our past lives our connections our compatibility and it is a method that you can understand your divinity. It's a method where you can understand what you're here to do. It's a method where you can identify your issues, the problems you didn't even know you had. And it's a way in which you can get out your own way and move forward. Does that, that help? That is fascinating. Um, and I have to say, you know, because I, I've heard you before, but I know that anyone who's watching may have it, may, may probably has not. Hey, Felicia. Um, and I think it's really, really interesting to hear a proper explanation about what numerology is, especially when you bring in, you know, other things like um, what, like the story of the four and everything like that. So you mentioned life path number. So, yeah. What is that and how do you how do you get there? Okay, so so we're all kind of as I said co coded and placed in the great mm -hmm. eternal plan. And um the main numbers we're working on are 1 
to um, 9, 11, and 22. No number is better than any other number. If you've got a number, you got it for a reason. There's no mistakes. So best, basically, the, the life path number we take from our date of birth, you can't change your date of birth. It's impossible. We talk about spiritual rebirth. You can change your name very easily. People do all the time. They get married or they change the name by depot. Um, but you can't change your date of birth. So the life path number never changes. Just like you're um, a Leo and I'm an Aries, two little fire signs, we can't change that. But the life path number, Natalia is a two, working the energy of the number two. I'm working with the energy of the number one. That is like saying you're Leo and I'm Aries. Mm -hmm. So we want to go a little bit deeper. But how we work out the life path number is from the date of birth. So I'm born on the 4th of the 4th, 1973. We take whole numbers. We do four plus four plus 1973. This gives 1981. Then you add the one and the nine and the eight and the one. You get 19. One and nine is 10. One and zero is one. So you might have to download my free guide or we're going to be doing an interview soon where there's slides and it's easier to look at. But some of you on here may already know your life path number. And that's like that's 75% of what's going on. But there's seven and a half billion people in the world. We're not just going to say you're number twos, you're threes, you're number six. You know, it doesn't work like that because otherwise that's like saying Leo, Virgo, Aries. So we we have lots of different layers to us. In numerology, we look at the day we were born, the day and the month. Um, we have link numbers. We don't have to worry about all this now. It gets a bit complicated. In the work that I do with my clients, we look at their four roads. We look at their expression number. We look at their soul urge. We look at the personal year that you're in. So the main number is um, your life path number. So Natalia is working with the number two if she chooses to. So the two in the positive, well, it's the divine feminine. It's sacred knowledge. It's very intuitive. It's about um, teamwork, collaboration, support. Uh, the Dalai Lama said the Western woman is going to save the world. So it is about connection, collaboration, very intuitive, actually. In the negative, it can worry, it can be a bit fear-based, it can um, be a little bit um, kind of interchangeable. So, so then we have to look at the negatives. So the, the life path, really, number, if we can work on the negatives and get rid of the negatives, pull them up like weeds in the garden, then the positives naturally follow mm. so um so my my life path is one um so felicia's a five all about adventure and freedom and expansion and it's never about life isn't about is it the destination it's always about the journey but more so for a five the more out there the more change the more expansion the more freedom that's really five so that's perfect for a five. I'm a one, which is about um, self-employment, um, results, they need support, you know, boom, boom, boom. But that's top level. It goes obviously mm -hmm. deeper. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. So when it comes to... And by the way, you're spot on on the twos. Like I can see the positives and the negatives just in my own number that come out. Yeah. Um, so how then do you use the life path number in business success? Because I know that's, I mean, you use the numerology to have more success in business. So how, how do those two kind of relate to each other? 
So when I was started working with my numbers, I so I was working in one of my numbers, which is a nine, right? A humanitarian, old soul, been here before, service over success. The um, it's about serving others. Mm-hmm. But I'm not. A- ones have to make their life about them and then from that place they help other people so I was so busy making sure everyone else was okay putting myself last in the pile um like nines have to make their lives about others and then from that place they look after them it's a hard card Mm. but it's not my number I'm not a nine I'm a one so I was doing it the other way so I wasn't getting results so you know I was full of magic and magnetism but I was the world's best kept secret I was being a supporter I'm not a supporter I'm meant to be a leader so when I stopped doing what I wasn't meant to be doing ruffled a few feathers probably because people aren't used to you doing what you're meant to be doing and then aligned to why I'm here and kind of got on with it. So one in the negative can be like the ego a bit like, look at me. And then that way they can be a people pleaser. But the best thing one should do is put their head down, get on with it. So that's what I started to do in my relationship, in my business, in my, uh, with everything And it's worked because I'm aligning to it. Now, there's other numbers that I've worked with as well in order to move me forward. Um, One of them being the four, because I'm born on the fourth. Yours would be 11. So it's a master number. So it's about spiritual connection. It's Mm -hmm. about um, the spiritual teacher, cosmic connector, very, very emotional, highly sensitive. But that's, you know, that is like two on steroids so then we start to build a picture of who you are and what you're here to do mm-hmm. so my one I'm a leader and my approach is the planner builder and that and that serves me you know it's very write a list and get on with it <laughs> so so when I so that was my journey then I was um I created Bizology and I help people look at their life path number. I help people look at their approach and their ultimate goal and their link. I look at what personal year we're in. This is massive personal year. We work in nine year cycles. There's better years and easier years to do things. So we don't want to take the cake out of the oven when it's not cooked. And all, a lot of the time we're on push, 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 hustle, hustle, hustle mode. But in this nine year cycle, there's better times and there's easier times to do things. And if we're trying to do something when the soil isn't fertile, it's like trying to plant a tree now outside. It's freezing. Mm. I know you're in Spain, but like in the UK, it's not going to happen. So um, there is better times and there is easier times to do things and when we align to that energy and understand the tide is out the tide is in the tide is out then we know what to do i'm in a personal year 11 which is emotional it's turbulent it's up and down i can connect amazingly with inspiration and um meditation and guidance but it's not really a time for growth Mm-hmm. But I am growing my business because I did so much in my personal year one. So I'm like riding the slipstream. But it's not really a time for growth. Next year is a time for growth for me. So then we can stop pushing and pushing because there's we know what to do in the in the years. Mm-hmm. Um, our names, our business names, our business years. You know, it's all it's all related. There's not much outside of our control, really, when we look at what's going on. And when we align to why we're here, our purpose, which you can see in your four rows, and what you're meant to be doing, then things make sense. That is super fascinating. I I know you alluded it. Can I just say, yeah, Sashki, it's so true. Numerology is the bridge between who we are now and who we have the potential to be. Yes, it's a stepping stone that enables us to live our best life and be the best that we can be. 
Yeah, exactly. Because if we can be ourselves, we can stop trying to be everyone else. The positives, like the light, is the positives of the numbers. We can be conscious of the negatives of the numbers. And I love that, the bridge between who we are now and who we have the potential to be. And like, very quickly, you can step into it. Not difficult. It's there. It's with can see what you were doing in the previous life if you if you're like missing frequencies in the name that's what you're struggling with as well you know it's all there it's not rocket science but it is a science it's as old as the hills the plato's pythagoras nero you know it's as old as the hills but it's as new as the next decision you're going to make oh i like that so this has been really, really informative. And I'm just wondering if people, because you did allude to it and yes, Joe and I, we did have, like Joe gave us a really special guest training. That's only going to be exclusive in my, my free group. So life strategy is not, I'll drop the link after we're going to, I'm going to broadcast it on Thursday. Um, but until then, if anyone wanted to get in touch with you, you want to leave anyone with how they can get a hold of you or what you're offering? We'd, I'd love for you to share that right now because I've been hanging off your every word and I, I can't even imagine what everyone listening is thinking. <laughs> Bless you. So basically, um, well, you can go to josoli.com and have a little look around. There's some one of the fa the one of the ways that I can really connect people to what's going on is these famous profiles that I create so I, I've done Angel Strawbridge you know Escape to the Chateau Steph McGovern Deborah Mead and Karen Brady like Zoe Ball so uh, on my blog you can have a little look it's like a little snapshot of, of their bio and then top line their numbers but then it makes it more relatable it makes it more real so take a look on my blog um, there's my free group, Your Brilliance in Numbers. But the best place to start as well is um, my lead magnet, my um, Discover Your Life Path number. So then you can do my free guide. You can work out, you know, it calmly explains instead of me throwing numbers at you. It calmly explains how to work it out. And then top line, it tells you who you are. But reach out to me. I, I do 30-minute free discovery calls, and then I, I can work with me. It starts at £99 for an hour. It's a great Christmas present, or it goes up to £2,000 for three months. Really deep, then. We go <coughs> really deep. Four, four sessions is what I'm um, most of my clients do at the moment. Um, and I was talking to a lady today, you know, like people basically say, oh, my God, the thing is, you know this. There's no mistakes. You know it. Yeah. But you've forgotten and you haven't heard it explained in this way. Mm -hmm. So when you are able to align to it, then you can move forward from that space. It is accessing a force higher than you. It's not woo, it's not fluff, it sounds it because we're not used to it. Yeah. But yeah. then when you can when you see it, it is very like, oh my god. I was interview I was doing a guest slot the other week or last week in London and a guy came up to me and said, Well, I was interested, I was looking forward to it. I didn't think it would make any sense. And he said, But it's so accurate. I was like, Oh yeah. See, you can't make it up. You can't. You can't make this ish up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, if you can put in your links below in the comments, that would be awesome, yeah, especially, yeah. To your, especially to your freebie because I know that there would be a lot of people interested in that. And um, it's been so amazing having you on today. I'm so thankful that you, you, had, you were able to make the time and that you were able to come and – and for that special guest training that we're going to do on Thursday, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. If anyone's got any questions about that, let me know. Yeah. Some people get it and they just work it out first time and other people just need a bit of help. So, yeah, send me a message. Um, 
Visology with Joe Soli as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It's um, so, I mean, if for anyone listening, Joe is your lady. If you want to use numerology to up level your business, your life. I mean, it sounds like, every single aspect of your life, if you can understand and align with your numbers, um, you can really, you know, I don't want to say master, but yeah, master your life basically. Right. Because it's all, like you said, it's all there. It's just, it's just waiting for you to just seize it. So like just quickly, your, your four roads entitles the sensitive the spiritual guide, the leader, the communicator, boom, that's you, right? Me, the leader, the builder, the boss, and the humanitarian, boom. So, like, that's what I've got to do. That's what you've got to do. And then I'll show you how to get do it. <laughs> that's rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's amazing. Um, and, and I'll just finish by saying yeah. you're here to do a job I can't do. I'm here to do a job you can't do. And when we align to what we're here to do, then it works out. 100%. 100%. And that's, that makes all the difference. I mean, isn't that what life is all about, right? It's just is to live yeah. your true, your true calling and to really step into that power and if you can use numerology to do really just understand, like you said, it's, it's as, it's as ancient as, as time. Um, these are not new concepts, yeah. but we've not like, this is so, so new to a lot of us. So it's yeah because we've stopped yeah. knowing it, mm-hmm. but now we're in the energy of the two thousands. We have to wake up. We have to use the two, which is the divine feminine to, to navigate the waters. Amazing. Amazing. I, this has been such an amazing day. I've had just, anyway, I'm not even going to go there, but thanks so much for, for joining us and for sharing your immense wisdom. And, uh, I'll see you all in the group on Thursday when Joe does her super big training. It's not going to be anywhere else. I mean, on my stuff. So you have to go into the group. I'll put the links. Joe will add the links. And thanks so much again for for coming. And to everyone who's joined, thanks so much. And we'll see you next week. You're welcome. Lots of love. Bye-bye. <laughs>